Keep it hardcore! Oh, yeah! Alright, what do we have today? Well, this is gonna be a little bit different review. Instead of reviewing one item, I have one, two, three, four, five right in front of me. This is the new M&M Milk Chocolate Candy Bar with minis inside of it. But there's five different flavors. Instead of sitting here trying to make five separate videos, I decided to wrap them all up in one video. All right, first, let's go for the original Milk Chocolate M&M's bar, all right. So that's what that looks like right there. The old fashioned M&M candy bar. Well, this one weighs the most out of all of these other ones. This is a four ounce bag. While the other ones weigh 3.8 ounce or 3.9 ounce, this one weighs the most. Not gonna read the nutritional facts because it's candy. This is the Milk Chocolate M&M Candy Bar. And by the way, I found all these at Walmart. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, this is what the original Milk Chocolate Candy Bar looks like. It's got the little red dude. He, he represents the regular Milk Chocolate. He's got his hands on his hips right there. Some of these have like little M&M bumps in it. This is a pretty good size. It's flat, kind of like a Nestle's Crunch, a little bit bigger than a king size Nestle Crunch. So let's break off a piece of that. As you can see, the minis are inside of there. All right, milk chocolate m and let's do this. That's pretty much self-explanatory. It's a milk chocolate candy bar with little tiny M&M's in it. Nothing fancy about it, and it tastes great. All right, now we're going to the peanut M&M candy bar. As you see, this one's the same thing. It weighs 3.9 ounces, a little bit less than the other one, and it's got the peanuts. All right, open this bad boy up. And once again, same size. Hey, it's got the same dude on it. But it's the same size and everything as the other one. But you can see in the back, you can see the lumps of peanuts that are in this one. So, break a piece off. Do this, peanuts. Alright. That wonderful milk chocolate with the little m and minis and peanuts in it. Very self-explanatory. I'm just excited to eat these. Let's try this guy right here. What about the crispy m and candy bar? It's got the scared looking orange m and on there. 3.8 ounce crispy right there. All right, take a good look at that. And let's just get right into it. Oh, wow. I think all of these are going to be self-explanatory. It's just cool that they came out with a big candy bar. Yep. He's back on there once again. Same picture, same image. But look at the back. Kind of reminiscent of a Nestle's Crunch Bar or a Crackle Bar. This one's going to have... Some m and so let's do this, crispy m and Yeah, pretty much tastes like a Nestle's Crunch Bar with little tiny m and in there. So, once again, that's awesome. Now we're going for probably what's going to end up being my favorite, the Almond m and Candy Bar. How about that? 3.9 ounces almond. It's got the little blue guy. Looks like he's giving you a thumbs up. You know what to do. It's time to get into this bad boy. Oh yeah. The pattern is they all look the same. Same size. 
has the same picture on there. Dude standing there with his hands on his hips. The other side you could tell, uh-oh, some bumps in there. Must be the almonds. Let's do this. Almond m and M candy bar. Oh yeah. Just like the other ones. Awesome milk chocolate. Little pieces of M&M's. And some almonds in that one. Which peanut M&M's and almond M&M's, both of them are tied for my favorite of all M&M's. So, I'm a little biased on those, because I'm going to hold those standards up higher, which I love them. But, we have one last one. This is the crispy mint flavored M&M. How about that? It's got the green woman on there. Female M&M, 3.8 ounce crispy mint. How about that? Let's just get right into it. Just ain't nothing to it but to do it, as they say. All right, well, it looks just like the crispy M&M candy bar as far as, of course, they all look the same on the front, but on the back, you can see the crispiness. Let's break that one right there. Oh, yeah. All right, crispy mint M&M. Let's do this. All right. Tastes like if you took a Nestle's Crunch or Crackle Bar and added mint flavor to it. Boom. That's what it tastes like. So, we have five, count them, five M&M candy bars. The milk chocolate in all of them are awesome. If you're a big milk chocolate fan, which I am, then I don't think you'll have an issue if you like M&Ms and you're, I, I just don't see anybody that likes M&Ms going, oh no, I don't like this. But for anybody that actually does care about the nutritional facts, you got the calories and all of these are 150, but you got to multiply them by four. The total fat varies, which they only fluctuate by some of them are eight grams and some of them are nine grams. All of them are zero trans fat. All of them are five milligrams. Now, don't forget to multiply that by four. All of these are five milligrams times four. All of these are 20 milligrams of sodium times four. Total carbohydrates is varies between 17 grams on a few of them and 16 grams on two of them. But you gotta multiply by four and all of them have two grams of protein times four. <laughs> Hey, these are awesome. I don't know where all they sell them at, but I found a display right near the cash registers at Walmart. Didn't even know they were a thing. Just ready to check out and leave. I saw the display. I immediately grabbed all five flavors because I knew I would love them. And I figured I would just throw them all together. Boom, bang, bam, right here in one video. So here you go with the M&M candy bars. They're all good for what they are. You just pick your favorite flavor and run with it. Anyway, that's it for today. Just remember, 